Hey guys, I'm back today to do another small haul video. Um, these are just two small accessory pieces. Um, but I went up to Boston uh, mid-June to uh, visit my college. I'm going to Wentworth Institute of Technology. So they had Freshman Orientation Day and all kinds of stuff going on. So I went up there and I wasn't exactly like planning to do any shopping really. Uh, I was there mainly to visit the college, but um, my mom had purchased Aura Gold Cosmetics at the Copley Place Mall, and if you know what Aura Gold Cosmetics are, you know that it's like a really big deal to purchase any products from them, and she had purchased like this whole, I don't know, the 24 karat gold series, like the entire set. So um, she really put me in the mood to shop, and uh, so I was like, you know, why not? So the first place that I went to was Louis Vuitton. Uh, I only picked up a small accessory like I said. Um, but I went to the, um, what is it, the Louis Vuitton at Copley Place. It is considered the most exclusive mall on the East Coast, supposedly. I don't know. But uh, my sales associate Kyle was phenomenal. He is definitely by far the best sales associate I've ever had dealing with Louis Vuitton. Uh, I went in there for a small accessory. I went in one day and I was like, nah, just looking today. The next day I went in I was like, yeah, you know, why not? So, uh, you know, he knew, like, when I told him what I wanted, he was 100%, um, like, still involved with me even though I knew, or he knew that I was only looking for a small accessory. He still treated me like no less than anyone else in the store. He was incredibly nice and incredibly helpful, and it's a really small accessory, and he gave it to me in this huge bo uh, huge bag. And I was like, you know, why why is it in such a big bag? And I, um, oh, and he also had taped the front of it. It's not even coming out at all. There, eh, a little bit. He had taped the top of it so it was, like, taped so it wouldn't open up or anything. So the packaging was nice as far as that goes. But I looked inside the bag and he had given me uh, this, which is the uh, Louis Vuitton men's catalog. Uh, and it just has like uh, a couple menswear looks, uh, some luggage pieces and uh, things along that line. So, um, you know, that was really cool that he had just gave, like he just gave it to me even though I was only buying a small accessory. But, you know, I guess he might have seen, like, uh, my purchase history through them, so I guess he knew I was a returning client. Either way, that was a really nice gesture, so uh, he was nice to me, he had given me that extra thing. Uh, and one of my pet peeves is that whenever I get a receipt, as soon as I open up, like, as soon as I open up, like, the card, I'll always refold it so that the LV is facing, like, on the front. Uh, cause none of my sales associates have ever done that before, except for maybe my first one. I'm, I can't remember, but, uh, so that's one of my pet peeves with Louis Vuitton. So here is the receipt card for this. And, uh, I saw him, like I watched him do it. He actually folded up the receipt so that the LV is sticking out. And I was so beyond impressed with that and just so like... I was like just happy about that like not even that I got the little item that I wanted I was just so happy that he folded my receipt the right way. I really appreciate it when a sales associate takes the time to do that and I wasn't even like buying uh, a high like a higher end piece from Louis so that was really nice that he had done that. Uh, but you can just see on the back here if my camera focuses. Uh, it is the Louis Vuitton at Copley Place on uh, Huntington Ave. So it is one of the most exclusive malls on the East Coast, uh, from what I have heard. And then that's just like the little print and whatnot on the inside. So it's just in the little draw box and in its little dust bag. I've already used it plenty, uh, but I just thought I would put it back in the draw box um, and repackage it for the purpose of an unboxing. So you can see it's just like a little item and I'm sure most of you can already guess what this is. Uh, I think every Louis collector has this piece in their collection. A lot of people start out with it because it is a very useful piece and I am in love with this. But the item that I got was the clay key pouch in the Damier Ebin. 
I see so many reviews on this key pouch. So many people have it. It's like a staple piece in everyone and anyone's collection. So I figured, why not get it for my own? And also, um, I got this after I was at freshman orientation at my college. So um, they tell you, you always need like your room key, uh, a photo ID card, your health insurance card, and another like um, student ID card. I don't know. You needed like four or five cards with you at all times and your room key. So I was like, I don't always want to leave the house with like my full wallet, my full size bag. So I thought, you know, why not get a little something that I can just throw in whatever like I need and just leave with that rather than leave with a full size bag. When I went to get this piece, um, I went up to the men's counter and I asked him, or actually I went up to the counter with all the Damier pieces. So half of it was Damier Azur and half of it was Damier Abin. And I had said, I'm looking for this, and he knew exactly right away where they were. He gave me two of the Azor pieces, two smaller Azor pieces to look at, one for me and one for my mom who was with me. And he's like, you know, you can just check this out. I'm going to go into the back and get the Damir Abin one. So I was checking it out, and um, he comes back, and he says it was just loaded off the truck, and uh, they are unpackaging it now, so, you know... It'll be a few minutes, but, um, you know, why don't you tell me a little bit about, like, what you're looking for and whatnot. So we had a small chat about, like, pieces that I already owned, uh, what I'm looking for next, and uh, all sorts of different things. So it was a really nice experience. One thing that, like, really set me over on this purchase um, is because it was made in France. I don't really think you'll be able to see in there too well, but uh, mine says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, which just made like the purchase 10 times easier because I was like, wow, you know, made in France, like small accessories in the Damiers are usually made in Spain. So I was like, that's awesome that it's made in France. And I really am trying hard not to get stuff that's made in the US just because of the cloth tag thing. Uh, so I'm trying to prolong that as long as I can. So um, ha finding one made in France was amazing. And my stamp code, it's definitely, you're definitely not going to be able to see that, but it's like right in at like the seam where the zipper comes to when it's open. Uh, says mine was made in the third week of 2013. The other place that I went to was Swatch. Um, when I went down to visit the college, I only brought one watch with me just because I didn't want to be weighed down with too much stuff. You know, I'm new to the area, trying to get a get a hang of things. So I was just trying to be really easy and casual with stuff. So I wore my white Michael Kors watch, and it's a really popular watch. I've had two other ones beforehand. Both of them just fell apart and took them back to Macy's, and they said, oh, you know, this happens a lot. It's a factory defect whatever through the Michael Kors company I'm like this is it for Michael Kors I am so done his stuff is garbage I am fed up so I didn't have a watch then and I only had like a couple hours left like I was in like done with the trip now um, you know left the college went to Louis Vuitton did like finished my pick up there and we're in the airport now and we're walking through and there's a swatch store so I was like completely lost without my watch I was like I can't do this like I can't function without it so I went in there and the um, sales associate there Tiffany was incredibly helpful she was really nice I was looking at a couple watches I had liked before but then I came like she showed me these other watches um, that I had never really seen before it's a part of a new collection or something they're all aluminum and titanium I think I don't know they're incredibly lightweight though and they had some really amazing styles in them so um, I opted to venture out and try one so it came in this bag it's pretty standard it came in a box that just says swatch on the side of it like in the plastic on the in or no on the plastic on the outside and the inside and how does this open up so it just has like a flip top lid in there. Uh, this is actually the first time I've had a swatch box like this. Um, I have two other swatches and they both came in the really long thin plastic cases. 
And when I was checking out, I told her, you know, I have two other swatches at home, so she signed me up for the swatch um, loyalty club card or whatever. So now this way, whenever there's scratches on my watches, I can just bring them to any swatch dealer or any swatch store and they will like buff out any scratches in them, which is really cool. So she was a great help as a sales associate and um, she had shown me this watch and you know, said it was a new collection and whatnot. So this is the actual watch. So what really caught my attention on this watch was the beautiful diamond, um, or not diamond, they are Swarovski crystals around the outside really caught my attention and it looks amazing in the right like in the sunlight it just really glitters and it's amazing it's absolutely beautiful it's got a pretty standard back um, class for it it's um, a chain type of link um, band so it's uh, a little bit more formal looking uh, has a really nice um, dark uh, reflective uh, face to it as well just as a beautiful watch um, as a whole and this is a part of their newer collection and it is really like weightless it is so lightweight it really doesn't even feel like you're wearing a watch so for anyone who is interested in this this is called the full-blooded stone heart black uh, that's like the name of it according to the receipt uh, and this was hundred and sixty dollars so very affordable watch very 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 good name watch but this is going to be or this has been my favorite watch lately I have not stopped wearing it and it is amazing I get a lot of compliments on it actually just because with the Swarovski crystals in it it just really is eye-catching and it's a very very stunning piece so that was it for this little haul I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this didn't run too long for just two little items um, so uh, you know, I'll probably end up doing a review on this once I get more use out of it. Once I get into college, maybe. If I have time, I will. Um, because it's a great piece, uh, and I love it already. So, uh, I think that just about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.